what in the world have I got going on here? Well, I'm going to explain a really nifty little tool here made by Saker. It's more of an accessory than a tool for cabinet doors, etc., uh, painting, finishing, trim, and in particular what we make here in the shop a lot is candy boards. I'm going to talk about it, demonstrate a little bit, coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And these uh, little things that kind of look a little bit like uh, a cross between a Tinker Toy and a Lego are accessories for painting. And we're going to pretend that this piece of plywood here is a door. So let's say you're wanting to spray paint it and you want to be able to get to both sides. Uh, these mount with screws in the end so you would, if, if you're doing an interior door, exterior door, cabinet door, whatever, uh, about an inch from the end on each side you would put one of these brackets and a little screw in. You could spray paint it and then be able to turn it around, spray paint the other side, or tilt it if you wish, or Get that out of the way, set it up flat, and you would be able to stack them. And I'm going to show you how that works. Is unbox these other ones because I like these so much. I got some more. Okay, so you've got a door painted, and you've got some other doors to do. Maybe you're doing some kitchen cabinet uh, doors, and you have quite a few of them to do. And you've got this one here is all finished, and you want to add a second one. You can stack them up. A couple different ways to do it. There are little notches here. There's a little peg here. So you would put your next one on and they would stack just like so. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. If the stack gets too tall, there's a different option you can do here. Take these back off. Let's turn these 90 degrees. Now it's not up quite so high. Now this stacks the other way. So you can stack like this. And you get the idea. Okay, I also need to point out that Sager did give me a set of these to test and demonstrate. And I've had them for a couple months because my intention was to do it on a full-size door and show how it works and spray it. I do not spray inside the shop. Any spraying I do, I do outdoors. However, it was winter, and even today, although it's uh, towards the end of April, it's not nice enough to go outside and try to spray something. It's just, it's just not warm enough yet, so we're going to do a little bit of pretending here. Another thing I found that this is extremely useful for is holding up trim. If you've ever done a lot of uh, casing or base molding, or quarter round or anything, you've got piece after piece after piece, and you sanded it, and you sealed it, and you stained it, and you're putting the polyurethane on it, or the varnish, or paint, or whatever type of finish you're going to put on it. What do you do with them? Well, you get some sawhorses out, and you kind of put them on the sawhorses, and then you run out of room. One of the things you can do with these, and this is my, going to be my primary use for our candy boards, and candy boards are something the beekeepers use, and we make several hundred of them a year. But this is not the season for it, so I'm not making them right now. That's more of a late summer, fall item. But something you can do here is, with this hole on each end, you could cut yourself some pieces of uh, one by one or something, put a screw in each side, and you make a rack. Well, I'm gonna, I do it just a little bit different, and I've played around with it on some uh, trim I've done. Let me rearrange my little thing here again. We'll tilt this back up, turn him on the side, just so you can get a better, little bit better idea what I'm going to be talking about here. I use, and this is not on the instruction manual, this is something I came up with. I have these six foot pieces of bamboo, and there's holes in the plastic here. And of course I, I set these much farther apart. I put them all the way out to the ends and I can lay my trim across. Of course I would do two sets of these, something like you do with sawhorses. 
but then I can take these, which are now out of my reach. Whoop, gotta put it on the right way. And I can add another layer. And I can keep going and going and going. And I can do a whole bunch of long trim pieces at once. So it's, as I said, this is not something that they show in their instructions. It's something I came up with, and it's what I have used the first set of brackets I got that they provided to me for. It, it was just ideal for doing all that trim work. So what do you get in a box of these? Well, you get four of these. You get a bag of screws for screwing into the end of your door or if you're making uh, trim racks or whatever. Uh, you get a little instruction book here which shows uh, some different things you can do for, for example drying trim and how to stack these how to use them for as I just demonstrated here and I say I wish I could have good enough weather here to be actually be able to spray this door that I want to do but I can't uh, probably going to be another month before I'm going to have suitable weather for that and of course there's the use that's not in here that I showed using the six foot bamboo pieces and for doing trim I mean that was just a huge time saver uh, I did not shoot video when I was doing that because I was not here I was up at the renovation house and not where I could uh, really shoot any video of it especially for the time of year it was but that's my demonstration of this once again Saker did provide me a set and I got some more because I like these and they're very useful and when we get into production with candy boards and painting them there we're, we're going to have them stacked up uh, kind of see a little bit of a picture here on how I've been doing it in the past so this will be somewhat of a time saver for that if you got anything out of this appreciate getting a thumbs up always helps the channel if you like a set of these there will be a link in the description and I do get a small commission from that if you decide to purchase some it does not affect your cost Roger in the shop thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one